The top players that the Buffalo Bills need to re-sign for the 2024 season, and it starts with defensive tackle Daquan Jones. There's no coincidence there that when Daquan Jones was on the field, paired up with Ed Oliver as well as Leonard Floyd, that their production skyrocketed. As soon as Daquan Jones went out, got hurt against the Jacksonville Jaguars in London, Clearly, the production from Ed Oliver and this entire defensive line unit started to dwindle. Leonard Floyd was off to an awesome, awesome start to the season. Yes, he finished the season very strong, too. And I think he did an excellent job being that he wasn't in a 3-4 scheme, Leonard Floyd. But it also was because he was paired up with Daquan Jones. And then we ended up supplementing that loss with Linval Joseph. So to me, it really starts with the interior defensive tackle, Daquan Jones, paired up with Ed Oliver. And we saw Ed Oliver balling out, having the best stats with Daquan Jones being out there. And he started to regather himself as soon as we got Linval Joseph back. Tim Settle started balling back out. And even Puna Ford getting in there too a little bit later in the season. But to me, I think Daquan Jones is the kickstarter for this Buffalo Bills defensive line. And we really didn't get a good sense of this defensive line because of the loss of Daquan Jones. Let's not forget, Daquan Jones knows this scheme. He knows this defense. If we re-sign him, he's going to come here, hit the ground running, not miss any steps, and be able to help out Ed Oliver. Now, the problem here, and next on my list that the Bills should really consider re-signing is Leonard Floyd. Leonard Floyd, we really didn't get to see Leonard Floyd and Von Miller together. We really don't know what that could ultimately present to opposing offenses. And you pair that up with Daquan Jones, with Ed Oliver. And I really am loving the fact that Von Miller is going to be back ready to go for the 2024 season. AJ Epinesa is next on my list. And AJ Epinesa Really, we didn't ultimately see the the fruit of the benefit of, of A.J. Epinesa. I mean, you really think about it, this entire defensive end class and defensive line, the rotation with Sean McDermott, and being that we were short, really, with, with Von Miller being out and not really having the necessarily great depth and lack of playing time for Von Miller, I, I think the snap count was pretty high for players like A.J. Vanessa. So if we could somehow get Von Miller back, get Leonard Floyd back, maintain a good rotation on that defensive line, have them fresh during each and every single snap, and therefore fresher later in the season, it makes all the sense in the world to bring all of these guys back. And it's ultimately going to help the back end of this defense because we know Micah Hyde, he, he might not be back. He might just retire. Linval Joseph or Razul Douglas, Trey White coming off an injury, Christian Benford, Kair Elam. It's going to be interesting to see, but usually that front defensive line helps the back end of the defense. Now, the next player defensively that I want to talk about that we should consider resigning is actually Cam Lewis. The versatility of Cam Lewis, especially if Micah Hyde decides to retire. Cam Lewis backing up Taron Johnson in the slot and the nickel and also filling in in that safety role, even that dime package. We utilized them a decent amount and did an excellent, excellent job. He's a ferocious, willing tackler, and I know that he's just going to continue to get better and better and better. So if we can get Cam Lewis here for a very reasonable rate, I absolutely love what that could do for the 2024 Buffalo Bills. Now, taking a look on the offensive side of the football, one player that we need to discuss is Ty Johnson. Right now, we're literally only having James Cook on this team. It, we need another one-two punch, another punch to James Cook, a bigger, more dynamic back. And I think Ty Johnson really showcased himself towards the end of the season, actually making Leonard Fournette expendable and us really relying on Ty Johnson. And I think Ty Johnson really blossomed under Joe Brady's call and Joe Brady's offense. Now, I do think that the Bills can address the running back position in this year's NFL draft and probably save some money in not re-signing Ty Johnson, especially if we get into like a bidding war 
for him, but I think it's still important to have some sort of veteran running back there to pair up with James Cook. He's still young. He's still developing. You really look at what we did with Devin Singletary, with LaShawn McCoy, Frank Gore. You know, we always had somewhat of a, of a veteran back there. Latavius Murray's a free agent. You know, uh, I, I just, Damian Harris too, but I really like Ty, Ty Johnson for the Buffalo Bills. The other players that we really need to eye on here is offensive line. You know, David Edwards being a free agent, using a six offensive line package several times last year. Maybe the Buffalo Bills could supplement that in the NFL draft and, and not have to pay a David Edwards to be that six offensive lineman on the field. Uh, and also Kyle Allen, the relationship that we have with Kyle Allen and Josh Allen and uh, they seem to, to do great together, but maybe the Buffalo Bills will probably supplement that in this year's NFL draft. Now, the tight end position with Quentin Morris, he's been here an awfully long time. Uh, he, we saw what happened with Dalton Kincaid. It took him a little bit of time halfway through the season to really get the feel of the NFL, and you're talking about a first-round draft pick. The Bills won't be drafting a tight end in the first round in the 2024 NFL draft. So looking at it and knowing that we use three tight end sets, maybe the Buffalo Bills should consider bringing back uh, Quentin Morris to the Buffalo Bills so we don't have to fill that deficiency via the draft or a higher paid player in free agency. So, so I really think the Buffalo Bills would probably really do everything they can to bring back Quentin Morris for this upcoming season. And maybe Joe Brady, when he puts his own flair on things and his own spice to this offense, I think he's gonna have to make a decision as to whether he wants to have three tight end sets or if he wants to have an extra offensive lineman depth piece that could be an extension of the offensive line, almost line up in that tight end spot. It's gonna be interesting to see what Joe Brady decides to roll with for this upcoming year. But I, I think this is, some top priorities there for the Buffalo Bills are really on the defensive side of the ball. Daquan Jones kick starts this defensive line. He made the players around him better. He made Ed Oliver better. He made A.G. Epinesa better, Leonard Floyd better. And we really didn't see like Von Miller in this entire defensive line. Daquan Jones was off to such a phenomenal, phenomenal season under Sean McDermott's defense. And we just didn't get to see it. It's such a shame we didn't get to see it. And even Matt Milano, Matt Milano going down with an injury. We just didn't get to see this entire defense and what it can ultimately present. But I appreciate you guys all so much. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, check the link in the description for course careers. You can get $50 off their uh, free introduction courses there, teaching you how to get a high paying career. But I appreciate you guys and go Bills.